Let me tell you a little story about today. So, yes, I know I need a haircut, by the way. I'm sorry, but in this video, there is some dead crab, so I'm going to warn you before I get to the unboxing that you're going to see them. So if you don't want to see them, you might want to skip the rest. So my quick to the point version of this review is that, yes, all the crabs arrived. Uh, unfortunately, half of them were dead. Um, it's probably because I had to travel so far. I don't blame my home nature for it at all. They would have been nothing but great to me over everything here. I would still recommend them. Um, if you live closer to them, it's probably not a good idea to get things if you live really far away because they're going to have to go through a few different stops. And it's just not good for the animals. But if you're getting plants, sure, why not? You just want to skip to the unboxing I'm warning you there's a couple of dead crabs you're gonna to want to jump to it roughly around uh, a little after two minutes sorry I have to add this clip I don't know exactly when and now for my longer review today I'm gonna to give you my honest review of my home nature a website that sells plants animals and some other stuff out of Hong Kong I'll also note that I'm not a uh, very avid buyer of online things I usually uh, only do that once in a blue moon so it's not something I'm really used to doing. I really like to give my money for an object when I get it, not pay and hope that it comes. They did say there was going to be some time before it would get here, so I was expecting uh, some, you know, delay. Eventually their website did come up with a uh, notification saying that stuff was going to get sent to the U.S. at the end of uh, August, um, and that's probably when my order was going to get shipped. So I expected that that was going to be the date. Turned out that was the date. Um, they did tell me this through their Facebook page. I ended up uh, messaging them on there to, uh, you know, kind of figure out when everything was going to be done and coming and stuff. Uh, and they did get back to me rather quick. Within like a day, uh, everybody uh, responded. So that was good. Um, and when it comes to half of them arriving dead, unfortunately, um, I have already messaged them back because they have a 100% uh, alive arrive guarantee. And uh, unfortunately, that was not the case this time. So. I really don't think it's the fault of my home nature that uh, these animals ended up uh, dying. Uh, even just the guy in the, the post truck uh, handling the box flipped it once or twice. So uh, it, it really didn't have much indication saying that there was a live animal inside. So that was one thing I was kind of uh, concerned about. Um, it was just a brown box. And it uh, really had no, no indication of anything being alive in here. And now let's do the unboxing. It's finally done. Let's open the box. Alright. Got some packaging here. We got crabs. I'm going to take them out and try to show. Whew, we got one hell of a stang coming from this box. I'm going to try and take them out and show you one at a time. Hopefully, everybody's okay. There's the couple on the top there. We'll get a better look at everybody soon. So far, A and B have not made it. This B made it. Put the first guy into the paludarium. Looks like he's going for the water right away. Poor crabs. This was definitely not the ideal way to send them. The very first two I saw on the top were dead. The rest of them are looking... Some of them are okay, but the ones that are all curled up I think are dead. So, this is after unpacking. We have six that did not make it, unfortunately. And we got one guy on the run here. Here's number two. They're so pretty. You saw those first two we put in the tank, and these are the last of the alive ones here. We got this guy here. The ones that did make it are quite beautiful.
This guy has some nice purple Ooh, splash. Guess he's going in the water. They need a rinse. That one orange one. Next we have this guy. Who's got some beautiful orange claws? There you go. Go on the stick. There you go. The last two I'm just gonna show off in their little containers here. As they get a little excited once I take them out, which I don't blame them. I'll give you uh, a good view of everybody in the tank at the end there. But they are quite beautiful for the ones that did make it. I think I'm going to try and put the rest of these guys in a little bit of water and see if they wake up, but uh, I have my doubts that they made it. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I've been, uh, you know, posting videos on YouTube for about two years now and uh, it's been fun working with the free Windows editor and all. But if you guys can help me get to a thousand subscribers, that would help me decide to start spending some money on YouTube because I don't know if it's worth it at the moment yet. So let me know. If you can, hit the subscribe button. If you get me to a thousand, I'm gonna buy a new editor and that'll let me do new kinds of videos and stuff like that and uh, do a better job of the ones that I do make. So if you like what you see, hit subscribe. Thanks, I appreciate it guys. Have a good day, bye. I also need names for these guys. I'm thinking that the uh, three orange ones should be called the Tangerine Trio. What do you think? Uh, if you don't like it, let me know. And if you have any ideas of your own to give me a suggestion, let me know, comments below. Thanks, bye.